This is a lesson on comparing and ordering numbers. Um, this is lesson two in unit two, whole numbers. <clears throat> so we're going to be looking at numbers with mostly four digits, and we're going to be comparing them using um, different methods to see which one is larger or smaller. Okay, so we're going to, for our examples, to show you just um, ways to compare numbers. Um, we're going to be using the numbers 2,744 and 2,072. So what we're supposed to do is figure out which one is the larger number. Now sometimes this will be easier than other times, so here's some strategies that you can use um, when those number, when it's not so clear which one is larger. Okay, so the first way out of three ways um, that you can use is using base 10 blocks. So what you do in this case is um, you draw out base 10 blocks for each number, uh, one on top of the other, and then you compare and see which one has more of the larger blocks. Okay, so in this case 2,744 has uh, two thousands, and so does 2,072. There's two thousands cubes there. Okay, so those cancel each other out, they're equal. Next up, we've got seven hundreds on top, and we don't have any hundreds on the bottom. So that's where the top number becomes superior, is um, there are seven hundreds and there's no hundreds down below. So that means that this number up here is larger. Okay. Um, now, if, if we did it, if uh, this number here had 700s also, then we would look at the tens and see which one has more tens. And then if those were equal, then we would look at the ones. And if those were equal, then that means that you're looking at the same number twice. And it's equal. Okay, the second way that you can use is a place value chart. And so in a place value chart, you use uh, one chart like this and place one number on top of the other, um, just like we practiced before. So we draw out our chart, put your number, each number, um, in full on the side here. So we've got 7,000, I mean not 7,000, we have 2,744 up top and then 2,072 um, on the bottom. And uh, then you just place the numbers in each of the columns that they belong. So we've got two in the thousands for each number and then again this is where you it breaks down and you can see that uh, the seven is larger than the zero. So that means that 2744 is larger. And again if those were the same then we would continue on always going from left to right because thousands have a much bigger Im impact on whether the number is larger than ones, does, or tens, or hundreds. Okay, and the last way um, is probably the trickiest way, and it is using a number line. So for some people this works, and some people it just gets confusing. So if, if you're one of those people that it just gets confusing, then use one of the uh, two upper methods. But here's one other way. So you can draw out a number line, and um, we started this one at 2,000 and ended at 3,000, because I know both of these numbers are in between 2,000 and 3,000. And then each tick is actually worth uh, 50 more, so I'm skip counting by 50, but I only wrote every second tick because I didn't have enough room. Okay, so this is 2,000, this would be 2,000, 2,050, 2,100, or 2,100, whatever, 2,150, 2,200, 2,250, and so on. Okay, so you draw that out and then you plot your numbers on the number line. So we have 2,072 and that's halfway in between 2,050 and 2,100. So we put it right here. And then we have 2,744 and that's slightly before 2,750. So we put it slightly before that line. And then the number that is closer on the right this time is the larger number. Okay, and then once you figure out what your larger number is, then you use, if you remember, the um, alligators. They're actually greater than equal to signs, but we use those. Uh, we use those um, to help us to figure out. So we don't actually draw a crocodile here. We would actually draw this symbol here, and over here we would actually draw this symbol. And this one with the eyes would just be like that. I know that looks like eyebrows for him, but they're not eyebrows, it's an equal sign. Okay, so this symbol right here, this means greater than when it's pointing um, to the left, that means greater than. And um, this number or this symbol would be used when the larger number is on this side. Um, and then this is an alligator because 
um, we remember that this means greater than and that it goes this way because uh, the alligator always eats the larger number. So if the larger number is on this side, then this guy is going to be happy because he gets more to eat. Right? And then um, this symbol right here pointing to the left is uh, less than, you would say. And that would mean that the greater number is on this side of it. So again, the alligator is eating the larger number. Okay? Um, and here's a, here's a better visual of that. Here's the alligator eating the 6 instead of the 3 because the 6 is bigger, so it'll be more filling. And then if, you have, if I have uh, the same number, like if I have a 1 here and a 1 here, then that means that it's equal. So they have to be the exact same number. Okay, so in this case, three, two, <laughs> excuse me, 2,744 and 2,072. Um, please pause the video, put the symbol here that you think would go, and then play. Okay, so the bigger number is right here. So that means my alligator eats that number, and my arrow points to the right. Okay, so that's that. Um, next up, if you flip the page, um, we've got some examples here. So first one, you're going to show these numbers using base 10 blocks. So you're going to draw out this one, draw out this one, and then um, you will decide which one's bigger. And put your symbol here, which alligator. And then uh, B is using a place value chart. Okay, so you'll draw it out and then put your alligator again. And then the last one is a number line. That one's tricky. But see if you can try it out anyways. Okay, so those are the three. Pause the video and then uh, play again once you are ready to see the answers. All right, so you should be finished your questions. And so the first one, um, we're using base 10 blocks. So this is how you would do it. So there are five, and you have to draw them, but I can't do that on here. So I will put 5,000 up on this first number. Woo! There we go. We will just uh, keep that from happening again. And then the next part, we have two hundreds in this first number. And we have four tens. And then we have eight ones, and my picture here made it so I don't have enough space. So I will just put them like this. All right, so there's my ones, and then I do the next number here. So there's five thousands, and then I need eight hundreds, and then I need four tens, and two ones. <clears throat> All right, so if it wasn't clear when I put all those hundreds down, um, we've got the same number of five or thousands, um, and then it's hundreds where we, where we uh, really see the difference. And so it's this bottom number that is larger, 5,842. So the alligator is going to eat the larger number. And moving on to the next question. Uh, we, we're using a place value chart to compare the numbers. I've got it set up here already. So all I need to do is put my numbers in here. So we've got 3,000s here, 500s here, 4 tens, and 8 ones. And then this number here, we've got 2,000s, 600s, 9 tens, and 5 ones. So now we just start from the left and work our way right until we find an uneven match which is going to be pretty soon because it's right in the thousands here. These two numbers are different. And the three is larger, so that makes this number bigger. So we just have to find which one in here is that, which is right here. This is the larger number, so the alligator goes like that and eats the uh, larger number. And it means greater than, remember. And the last one, um, we've got... I've got the number line sort of started here, so um, the smallest, or both of these numbers are in between 12,000 and 14,000, uh, because I've got a 12 and a 13 here. So I could uh, skip count here. I'll put 13,000 right in the middle. My, uh, I don't have my writing tool here, so I'm just trying with my mouse pad to, to write these. Um, I could put 
12,050 in between those. And 13,050 in between these. Oh, that's not quite in the middle. It's okay if it's not like exact, exact, as long as it's pretty close to being. Okay, and then we just plot our numbers on the number line. So we've got 3,548. So, oh, sorry, that's the wrong one over here. Ignore that, that's from the top one. Uh, we've got 1,354. So 1,354 would go just in front of 1,350. Again, my writing's not great because I lost my writing pad pen. Anyways, um, and then we've got 12,045. So slightly before 12,050. And the other number is... Uh, 1,245, like I said, so it goes right here. Slowly write it. And, okay, so in, in this case, on the number line, the larger number is to the uh, right, so it's right here. Um, 1,354, so again, I guess it's another greater than. So the alligator eats this number. I don't know, I didn't plan that very well. But anyways, here is your assignment, so it's on page 39. Well, I think it's uh, 40 to 41. Might even just be on page 40. But anyways, it's in this range, and it's number 2, 3, 4, 6, and 7. Remember, this little doohickey here means that you do all the numbers in between, which is 3 right now. Okay, so 2, 3, 4, 6, and 7.